Hi everyone, welcome to today's session. So we will start our session now. Hmm? Okay. So for a start, please sit in a comfortable position. Put your hands in a comfortable position. Gently close your eyes. You're gonna do some breathing exercises. When you breathe in, breathe in all the good and all the fresh air. When you breathe out, whatever tension and tightness. Whatever feelings of stress or tiredness, whatever negative emotion, negative energy in the body and the mind, we're going to let it all go out together with the breath. Okay, so gently take a deep breath in. Gently let it out. Relax, 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 relax. For the second time, take a deep breath in again. Gently let it out. Relax, 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 relax. For the third time, take a deep breath in again. Gently let it out. Relax, 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 relax. <laughs> For the last time, take a deep breath in again. Gently let it out. Relax, 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 relax. Relaxation of the body, if there is any more tension and tightness. Any more feelings of using or exerting strength in the body. Gently let it go and let the body abide in a state of relaxation and in action. Relaxation of the mind. Let us gently be aware of the state of mind at every present moment. If 
if there is any wanting, any craving, any expectations in the mind. Gently let it go and let the mind abide in a state of non-wanting, non-craving, and non-expectations. Then let the mind abide in inaction. For the mind not having to do or to think about anything in particular. Not having the need for the mind to do or to think about anything in particular anymore. Let the 20 minutes be a time for the mind to have a break from all the wanting, doing and hassles of life. And let the mind just be aware of whatever that manifests through your awareness regarding the body and the mind, moment to moment, moment to moment. Letting it all come to you and not trying to find, trying to do what is the thought, what is the feeling, just like taking a break, taking your holiday, sitting on a bench on the beach, Allowing the sight of the clouds arising and perishing, coming and going to your eyes. It's the same kind of mindset. Just simply with total acceptance and awareness as much as we can. Simply being aware of whatever that manifests to your awareness regarding the body and the mind, moment to moment, <laughs> moment to moment. This is relaxation of the mind. With this relaxed mind and body, let us continue our development on the reflection on sympathetic joy. So for a start, let us recollect the righteous goods that our dear beings have.
Then, with a gentle, loving heart, let us wish the righteous goods of the dear beings not be lost. Not be lost. Not be lost. Not be lost. May the righteous goods of the respected being of the dear beings not be lost. 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 May the righteous goods of of your beings not be lost, not be lost, not be lost, not be lost. And let us recollect about the righteous goods that we have. With a gentle loving heart, let us wish the righteous goods that we have not be lost, not be lost, not be lost, not be lost. May the righteous goods that we have not be lost, not be lost. Not be lost. Not be lost. May the righteous goods that we have not be lost. Not be lost. Not be lost. Not be lost. <laughs> and today, let us try directional sending of sympathetic joy. So for a start, let us incline our mind towards the beings on in front of us. Whatever, whoever that comes to mind, doesn't matter. Even if there's no image, doesn't matter. We just take it as cultivating the qualities and good intention, building up a good heart. So let us think of the rightest goods of the beings in our front direction. And then, whoever, whatever that comes to mind, and including those that didn't, let us wish the righteous goals of the beings in front not be lost. Not be lost. 
not be lost. Not be lost. May the righteous goes off the beings in front of us not be lost. Not be lost. Not be lost. Not be lost. Then let us think about the beings on our left direction and the right discourse that they have. And then with my gentle loving heart, again the last wish, all the beings on the left direction, the right discourse that they have, not be lost, not be lost, not be lost, not be lost. May the right discourse of the beings in the left direction not be lost, not be lost, not be lost, not be lost. And let us recollect that about the beings, the righteous goods that they have in our back direction. Let all the righteous goods of the beings in the back direction not be lost. Not be lost. Not be lost. Not be lost. May the righteous goes of the beings in the right in the back direction. Not be lost. Not be lost. Not be lost. Not be lost. Then let us recollect about the beings on our right direction. And the righteous goods that they may have. And then let us wish the righteous goes of the beings in the right direction not be lost, not be lost, not be lost, not be lost. May the righteous goes of the beings in the right direction not be lost, not be lost, not be lost, not be lost.
and let us think about the beings in the top direction. All the righteous goods that they may have. So let us wish all the righteous goods of the beings on top, in the top narration, not be lost. Not be lost. Not be lost. Not be lost. May the righteous goes of the beings in the top direction not be lost, not be lost, not be lost, not be lost. Then let us think about the beings in the below direction and the righteous goods that they may have. And let us wish all the righteous goods in the below direction of uh, the beings not be lost not be lost not be lost not be lost May the righteous goods of the beings in the below directions not be lost, not be lost, not be lost, not be lost. Then let us wish the righteous goods of beings in all directions. May the righteous goods of the beings in all directions not be lost. Not be lost. Not be lost. Not be lost. May the right discourse of all the beings in all directions not be lost. Not be lost. Not be lost. Not be lost. Okay, so gently take a deep breath in. Gently let it out. Relax, 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 relax. For the second time, take a deep breath in again.
gently let it out. Relax, 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 relax. Gently be aware of the feelings of your body. Gently be aware of the feelings of your buttocks touching the cushion. <laughs> and then doesn't matter whether the experience was good or no good, let the mind come back to the present moment. And then just like waking up from a deep sleep, gently open your eyes. Okay, so when we are doing the directional huh, sending of uh, sympathetic joy blessings, and because uh, Hey, we are quite flexible huh, at the contemplation level. So whenever you have the inclination of the mind, oh, all beings in the front. So whatever, whoever that manifests to you in your mind, then huh, uh, we, we bless them together with those that huh, uh, didn't appear in our mind. Okay? Actually, it should be 10 direction. Huh? North, south, east, west, uh, north, east, northwest, south, east, southwest, top and bottom. All right? But because of time constraint, so we, we, we did the four directions and top and bottom. All right? But it will be the same hmm, for, it will be the same for the 10 directions. All right? And some people may ask, oh, buddy, if I'm li living at on ground floors, then what what beings are below me, right? So there there may be uh, <coughs> some animals uh, that are living below you, uh, earthworms, <laughs> ants, etc., right? And then also, uh, if because the earth is round. Uh, so when you think about the beings in the bottom direction, they also include beings from the other side of planet Earth, isn't that so? Hmm? And also other unseen beings that may be uh, living in the uh, bottom direction, uh, calling from you, all right? From your from your uh, from your point uh, where you are. So, doesn't matter whoever that comes to mind, whatever that comes to mind. And then for those that didn't, we also wish all the beings in the bottom direction uh, to lose all their right their schools, okay? And the top also, uh, the top, there may be, uh, uh, there may be devas, uh, there may be somebody living above you when if you are living uh, in an apartment, isn't that so? So whatever, whoever that comes to mind, we just, and then those that didn't also, just wish for them like that. Don't worry too, mu too much about the technicalities or who, who has appeared, who has not appeared. Uh, don't get, uh, don't get uh, disturbed by, the, by uh, d not knowing. Eh? Who to choose? <laughs> Whoever, whatever that comes to mind, and those that didn't, we just bless them. That's all it is. Very simple. Okay? So this is for the directional sending. Okay? Then for the Q&A, there is a question. So this says that, uh, I would like to ask if a person that got terminal illness, uh, maybe cancer, maybe total kidney failure, 
that require a transplant. How does this how this quality reflection help? Which quality should he or she reflect more? For someone who is not able to accept his or her current condition, how to bring up the happiness and positive mind through this quality reflection? Okay. So actually, yeah, for this, uh, if somebody is sick, hmm, then there are a few qualities that they can reflect on. Actually, yeah, they can continue to abide in metta with the knowledge that, oh, let the body be sick, but let, not, let the mind not be sick. So even though I'm sick, I will continue to radiate love to myself and to others, and even to the sickness. Even though technically, uh, the loving kindness, uh, all these qualities, we, uh, the object should be a being. But sometimes it's to cultivate that friendliness and kindness and gentleness, that attitude, uh, that wise attention towards that sickness. Okay? So... Uh, it would, this is not covered huh, in the uh, Buddhist text, but it's just a skillful means to maintain huh, a, a loving attitude and a source of happiness for yourself, huh, and then to have the and to have a good attitude towards the sickness. Okay, some people are angry that they are sick, you know, so that's double sickness: sickness of the body and sickness of the mind. So that is one way uh, metta is possible. Karuna is also possible. Compassion. So they also wish themselves to be free from the sickness. And then they can also extend it, you know, uh, for somebody who has cancer. Then they can think that, oh, uh, since I'm having cancer, I'm so suffering. There are so many suffering beings in the world. Oh, let all the suffering beings in the world be free from suffering and, and causes of suffering. Free from suffering and causes of suffering. In this way, they'll find that the, the patient will find that if they do it correctly, then it will help to relieve the suffering in their heart and helps to remind them that, hey, they are not the only ones who are suffering. Many beings are suffering, okay? So there's no need to, you know, uh, get, get into the uh, downward spiral, uh, uh, negative thoughts of depression. Because actually, like the Buddha said, sickness is also natural, it's part of samsara. Isn't that so? Yeah, so, so when they can reflect like this, uh, they can they, they find that it helps them to relieve their suffering, their suffering mind also. Huh? And when their mind is more relaxed, then sometimes it helps to uh, relieve uh, the bodily pain and suffering also. Alright? Because at least they are not regarding it with anger, with depression, with grief. Huh? all the negative emotions. At least they're facing it with a positive emotion. Right? And then sympathetic joy. Hmm? Sympathetic joy also can, that is, if they have the understanding that, oh, uh, now I'm sick, so let whatever good qualities that I have, uh, may, may I not lose these good qualities even though I'm sick. May I, may let my body be sick, but may I not lose whatever good qualities that I have. May I not lose whatever properties or wealth that I have. But of course, you have uh, like what, like what I shared in the last uh, sharing. We do it with understanding that sometimes what we have may be lost or so. Okay, but nevertheless, see, it may be lost, but doesn't mean that we cannot continue to wish ourselves well, right? So if we are it's the same principle. Huh? We are going to be sick and die one day. Does it mean that we stop living life? <laughs> no, right? <laughs> Does it mean that we do not take care of our health? No, right? 
Yeah, so it's the same theory. Okay, so for sim mudita, huh? sympathetic joy is also possible like that. Huh? And then finally, upeka, hmm? equanimity. Equanimity is also pos possible huh? to call to to for the patient to abide in, because it helps them to relate and to accept uh, this phenomenon of the body that the body will sometimes be sick. Okay, some people, you know, they suffer so much because their body is their body is sick. Then, after that, their negative emotions just make things worse, isn't that so? Because they cannot accept that they are sick. But this kind of thinking is contrary to the laws of nature. When conditions are fulfilled, we will be sick. When conditions are fulfilled, we will be healthy. So it's all part of life. We can't just expect to have just the good side of life and, you know, not having and the ugly side of life or the suffering side of life. It comes together, part of the package, bro. <laughs> okay. So when they cultivate uh, equanimity, they will be able to, they'll find that they will be able to accept his or her current situation better. And then when they can accept, then they are in a position to move forward, uh, to be free from negative emotions that drag them down, drag down their energy, and to move forward in their treatment, in life, and maybe in facing the sickness and even death. Okay? So, the four qualities they can reflect. Uh, uh, and then which, which reflection uh, should they reflect more? Uh, different times, uh, for, dif for this, in, at different times, different qualities help. So it's just to be pragmatic, okay? Uh, if they have cultivated one quality that is very strong, and if that quality helps, they can use it. They can, they can abide in that emotion. Then if not, uh, if the emotion is not working, then they can try the other three emotions. And then if they, and then see whichever that helps them. Hmm? At least when they do it, their, their mind gets a bit of relief. Uh, the one that gets the most relief, that is the quality that will help them at that difficult time. All right? Okay, so this is the, that's why these four qualities are very wonderful. <laughs> very, very wonderful. Okay. All right. So that's all for today. And that's all for the uh, sympathetic joy sessions. Right. So hopefully everyone uh, has cultivated and has tasted the quality of a sympathetic joy. And hopefully all of you will be able to develop it into your character into your mental habits and then hopefully it will bring you as much joy as possible as it can give you all right there's so much potential to this emotion so hopefully everyone will be able to uh, find the time and effort to really cultivate it cultivate it so that it is strong and until it's part of your character okay and then every day, you just need to do a few minutes of gratitude, few minutes of forgiveness, you give few minutes of metta, few minutes of karuna, few minutes of uh, sympathetic joy before uh, you you move to the next quality. Okay, uh, but uh, but then depends on which quality you are developing. If you are developing sympathetic joy, then it is good to uh, abide in sympathetic joy throughout the day uh, whenever your your mind has time free time and it is safe okay all right so that's all for today yeah, wish all of you well peaceful happy full of sympathetic joy and let us share merits right so repeat after me itta vata cha mehi sambadang punya sambadang 
サビリワサビブタサビサタアノモダンドサバサンバディシンディア I share my merits with all devas, all beings, all creatures. May they rejoice in our merits. May they be happy. Idam me nyati nam ho tu. Sukita hon tu nyata yo. I share my merits with all the p a r t e r relatives. May they rejoice in our merits. May they be happy. Ida me ponyang, asawa kaya, wahango tu. Ida me ponyang, nimba nasa. By the power of this merit, may it be supportive condition for my purification of the mind to no more defilements. By the power of this merit, may it be supportive condition for my attainment of Nibbana. Mama Bunya Bagang. サバサタナンパジェミテサベメサマンポニャバガンダバンドアイシェマメリッツビフォーベイングスメデイリジョイスインダメリッツメデイビハピーサードサードサード、that's all for today's session. We shall be well, peaceful, happy, full of sympathetic joy. And see you guys in the next session, okay? サードサードサード